Hello guys, how are you? This is Angel and welcome to the free second tutorial to the this is the second video. In the last video we stayed at the part where you already got to uh, the free hosting and the main with i page. Okay? I hope you were able to do it. I left the link below. And in this second video we are going to continue where we left. Okay, when you acquire the domain, you will get a mail like this one. Okay, this one where you have to click here to validate the domain. The domain has to be validated. You click, a couple of clicks will pop up. I already did it, so I'm not going to do it. And your domain will be validated. That's it. Okay. After that, you, if you want to create a corporate email, you go to this part, click here, and the list of emails you can get will pop up. I already have several of them. You must create a new one. To create a new one, you click here, very easy, and you create your new email. Okay? We will create a new one with this domain, obviously. Uh, let's imagine it is the new domain you have, okay, and in this part we are going to write test1, okay, test1, you write a password here and you are done. Your domain can be anything you want, it can be your name and domain, that's going to be your email. You click on create, the password must be must have a capital letter and you click create. Okay. All you have to do is to log into your email and view with mail. Okay, you click here. Okay. Okay, you click here, here, and it's going to open your email. Okay, view web mail, and, and that's it. As you can see, your domain is here, and in your email, you can create it with the name you want, and that's it. You can receive mails to your corporate email just like that okay okay follow the steps and that's it that's it that's it that's it that's your email. Okay, very easy. After after this being said, we are going to process here to install WordPress. Okay. 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 Let me click here. Um Okay. WordPress. You click here and we are going to install WordPress, which is the base for you to able to be able to have your web, web page. As I said, it's very simple. You just simply follow the steps and you are going to have your web page easily. Just select the domain in this part, okay, which is this one. The one you just acquired, you leave you leave this in blank and click next. You must you must you must wi wait for a while. This usually takes a few minutes. You have to wait. After that, you click here. You leave it in blank and then click on next again. Okay. Let me click here. Um, 
Okay. Click next. And okay. In this part, you have to write your company's name. Okay, let's imagine that it's called uh, whatever, whatever you want, ABC or ABC Training. Okay, is your company name. Okay, here you're going to write the name, which you're going to log into your WordPress. Okay, this is your username. It's important. We are going to write like admin. You, your email is set by default and you write a password. Okay, you have to write a, pass, uh, a password. Okay. Just like that. Okay, you write your password and then you just cl simple click next and your WordPress is being started. Start. I'm going to pause to pause the recording until it finish because this can take up to five minutes, just like that. Once the, once the installation is complete, you will receive an email like this one. Okay. Where it says that the WordPress installation was finished and you click here, you obviously have to copy your username and the password you created before. So we write the user and password you created and that's it. Okay, this is the login page. You type, you write your, your login and that's it. Generally, the WordPress are added in here. It's your domain BP, BP admin. It's always like this. You write your user and password. After this, over here is where you are going to create your web page, and you will see that it is very simple. The first we must to do is install the a theme, okay, uh, um, a WordPress theme. So we go here, okay. Uh, appearance and themes and, okay themes and here you will choose a theme that it's like a template of your web page okay, web page let's look for one that is related with web design for instance okay let me do that Web development. We are going to select add a new one, and here is where we are going to look at. You write, and here you will see the available terms. There is a lot of them, okay? You're going to see. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. Um, okay. This is the one you have installed by default. Now we are going to look for a pretty and simple one. This one is pretty, okay. Okay. Okay, this one is pretty. This is the one I use sometimes for my clients. It's better pretty. We click on install. Okay. We click, we click in on install. You can see that it is installing and that's it. You just click on activate it. Okay. Just click on activate and that's it that's all
OK. If you want to visit visit your web page, you click here and that's it. Let me show you. OK. Ta -da. <laughs> your web page, your new web page. OK. Uh, uh, you already have a website. You have to a presence in the Internet. Every time someone search your name, you will appear on the search engines. If they write your domain, you will appear. These letters right here will appear because you are logged into WordPress. After that, you will be able to modify everything. You will be able to add more web page. Uh, you can change the picture if you like, and you will write whatever you want in your web page. But you already have your web page. You can write in here and you can add your tutorials, your blogs, or anything you would like. Okay. Okay, we're we're going to go back and here and you can start to modify in according to your needs, but you already have your web page created. After this, in the next video, we are going to learn how to modify it. Uh, how to add more pages and you will realize that it's very simple. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks, uh, thanks for uh, your attention. I, as you can see, having a web page is not hard at all. There is a lot of people that sell you a uh, professional web design. It is expensive, but there are a lot of people that sell it like if it was something impossible to do. But in reality, sometimes it is very, very simple. If you haven't got the hosting, you can click down here. I will leave the link or you can continue watching the next video. Thank you all. If you haven't subscribed yet you might, uh, to my YouTube channel, uh, you can do it. Thank you. Thank you and have a nice day.